So guys, I've built a few PCs here on TechSource, nothing too crazy. But guys, it's time to take TechSource to the next level. I know you've been waiting for this for a long time, so have I. What we're gonna be doing today is building my very first water-cooled build. Who's excited? All right. Now, since this is my first water-cooled build, I won't be doing a time-lapse build because I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. So I'm gonna be doing a vlog-style build log instead, and maybe I'll have two, three parts. I'm not really sure. It's kind of like building Legos without the instruction guide. So yeah, this is gonna be an interesting experience to say the least. But as soon as I get this down guys, I'm gonna be doing these regularly. Hopefully I can bring you guys a water-cooled build once every two months. So yeah, very excited. If you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like because this there's definitely a lot of uh, planning involved into doing these. So that's why I don't do it every single month. I haven't even done one, what am I talking about? Uh, but anyways, uh, let's take a look at the parts and then we can start by building this PC. Alright, so here are the main parts and on that bench over there is basically all the water cooling pieces. I'm just, I'm getting a heart attack looking at these. This is going to be insane. But anyways, so the bulk of this is pretty much on this desk. We're going to be using the 6700K. 32 gigs of RAM from a Trident. By the way, I'm sure you guys have realized what color scheme this is. If you have, let me know in the comment section. Uh, we're gonna do a 480 gigabyte M.2 from HyperX. We have an SLI bridge, you know what that means. We've got not one, but two GTX 1080s from EVGA. This is the super, super, super clocked? Super clocked edition. So very psyched about that there's a there's an EVJ Z170 FTW motherboard underneath this massive power supply I don't know if I'm gonna be using the 1200i honestly I think I ordered an um, an EVGA 1000 G2 instead so I might use that instead I don't know we'll see what's up with that and in this baby the case is gonna be the Lian Lee PC09 it's, it's upside down I don't know why I did that but the PC09 case it's gonna be an amazing looking build and there are the cables over there black and yellow oh, I gave it away whatever <laughs> whatever so anyways here are the parts let's go ahead and um, take out the case from the box and I guess we can start off by putting in the motherboard first because that is the easiest part and then we can install the ram sticks and the water block and then yeah we'll go from there Alrighty then, let's go in and get a little open, open this box up. I can't even speak today. Guys, I've honestly, I'm exhausted today. I've been doing a bunch of errands. So apologies if my enthusiastic level is under 9,000. So let's just, let's do this. I'm, I'm psyched. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's hella windy over here in California. I feel like there's a freaking tornado about to come suck us up right now. I didn't realize how giant this case is until I really unboxed it. I'm guessing this is the glass panel because this is really heavy. It is the glass. <laughs> I knew it. And it looks like the side panel is down there as well. So you know what guys, I'm actually not going to touch this. I think we should put together the PC first and then we can put this on at the end. Just because I don't get any fingerprints on it and maybe even crack it during the process. All right guys, let's do the motherboard processor and the water block. And I think we should call it for that episode or for this episode. Here she is in all its glory guys, a very gorgeous motherboard. This is the Z170 classified motherboard from EVGA. And by the way, I'm gonna give a huge thanks to EVGA, Lee and Lee for sending the parts in as well as Mod My Mods for sending in the alpha cool water cooling parts. 
you guys are awesome. I wouldn't be able to do this video if it weren't for you. Oh, also, uh, shout out to G Skill for the RAM, and also HyperX for their M.2 SSDs. You guys rock. Thank you so much. All right, so we got the motherboard in front of us. Let's pop open the sockets. Put in the 6700K. I'm thinking about getting a second camera and putting it right above me just so you guys can get a closer shot of what I'm doing on these types of videos. I don't know if you guys would like to see something like that. There we go. Slap it back in and that is done. CPU is inside. So this is the block, nice and heavy. Imagine if I just dropped this right on the freaking motherboard. <laughs> he is. Look at that. Holy crap, that was close. All right, I'm gonna put that down. I can't believe I almost forgot to use my anti-static mat from Alpha Cool as well. Check this thing out, guys. This thing is massive. This is legit one of the most detailed anti-static mouse mats I've ever seen. It's got tubing size charts, radiator sizes, and holes. I mean, this thing has pretty much everything. This is ridiculous. It even comes with some wrist straps, which... And I think you're supposed to hook these up to the, uh, the, mat, the mat itself, but I never use them, honestly. It's just for those people who are extra, extra cautious. I think Alpha Cool is actually giving one of these mouse mats away, so uh, more details will be on my final video once the PC is completed. So make sure you guys stick around if you're interested. All right, so the CPU block is now officially on there. I guess it wasn't too bad. It's pretty straightforward, but I feel like that's like the easiest part. So, all right, so I guess we can now do the RAM sticks and then put in the M.2 over here and then uh, maybe move on to the next step. Oh, check these out. These look awesome. Black and yellow indeed. These RAM sticks are definitely gonna pop in this build. I feel like there's a lot more black than there is gonna be yellow, so I think that's why these RAM sticks are perfect for this build. In case you guys are wondering about the speed, these are 3200 megahertz, 32 gigs total, so eight gigs each stick. Look at these babies. G-Skill, you guys do such an amazing job, honestly. When it comes to RAM sticks, I feel like aesthetics is more important than anything since all the RAM sticks are pretty much the same speed nowadays. Alright guys, so let's go and put on the M.2 SSD and then wrap up the video and in the next video we can actually finally put the motherboard inside the case and then continue on with the build. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for step one or part one of the video, I guess. Uh, I don't know how short this video is, but if you guys want longer videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you guys enjoy these series. If you do, I'll probably continue to do something like this for my next water cool build as well. Or maybe I should just do a time lapse. I don't know, whatever you guys like. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.